Atlantis is a legendary city described by the Greek philosopher Plato. Atlantis, a fabulously wealthy and advanced civilization, was swept into the sea and lost forever in a story which has captured the imagination of readers ever since. The original story of the lost island of Atlantis comes to us from two Socratic dialogues called Timaeus and Krishers, both written about 360 BCE by the Greek philosopher Plato. According to the Egyptians, or rather what Plato described Krishers reporting what his grandfather was told by Solan who heard it from the priestly scholars at Sais. Once upon a time, there was a mighty power in the Atlantic Ocean. This empire was called Atlantis, and it ruled over several other lands and parts of the continents of Africa and Europe. Atlantis, as described by Plato, was situated in what was known in antiquity as the Pillars of Hercules. In our modern day, this equates to the Straits of Gibraltar. The foundation of Atlantis was created by god Poseidon, Poseidon fell in love with the daughter of men living on those islands named Cleito, and when her parents passed away. They wed and had five sets of male twins. The eldest of the first set was named Atlas and became the first Atlantean king. Out in the country of Mauritania, located in the western region of the Sahara, an ominous structure has drawn the attention of historians, archaeologists, and even astronauts. NASA satellites have mapped the crater-like area to be 25 miles in diameter. The rings of the structure are similar to the described structure of the capital of Atlantis, following the 3 is to 2 ring ratio. Due to this, it is theorized that the Richat structure is what remains of the lost civilization of Atlantis. Plato describes Atlantis as having a central island surrounded by concentric rings of alternating water and structures, this description matches the Richet structure. Atlantis was supposedly 127 stadia, or 23 kilometers across, which is again a clear match. Atlantis lay in the shadow of mountains to the north, through which rivers flowed down into a wide valley, aligning with the Richat structure. There appears to be evidence of water draining out of the Richat structure into the ocean, suggesting it was once surrounded by water, as was Atlantis. As we examine the above picture of the Richat structure, it is clearly visible that parts of the land are raised and others sunken lower into the ground. This matches up with the architectural evidence that Plato, Solan, and Sumchus offer. It is said that Atlantis had an abundance of elephants and a freshwater spring or well in the center of the city. The few archaeologists and scientists who have been allowed to visit the Richat structure have found scrawled depictions of these large mammal on the walls of the caves found in the mountains nearby. When digging down at the center of the Richat, or inside the main ring, fresh water is produced instead of salt water. Even the recent movie Aquaman hints to the Richat structure as possibly being the hiding place of Atlantis. It is estimated that the location of the Richat structure was a fairly tropical region prior to 11,000 years ago. As per the stories, the sea destroyed Atlantis 9,000 years prior to Solan's visit outlined through a 2,500-year-old book. This would have occurred roughly 11,000 years ago. Mythologies around the world tell of a catastrophic flood that covered the entire Earth. Did the sea destroy Atlantis in this catastrophic flood? Let us see how the time period matches perfectly. This would also occurred roughly 11,000 years ago. New geological studies suggest that, the date Plato provides, that is 9,600 BC, which is 11,600 years ago, astonishingly coincides with a catastrophic rise event. This event occurred as a result of the collapse of continental ice sheets at the end of the last ice age, resulting in a rapid rise in sea levels globally. This monumental incident is suspected to have submerged a landmass the size of modern-day China and Europe combined, apparently overnight. Although it was once a utopia governed by moral people, its inhabitants lost their way to greediness and failed to placate the gods. 
For their vanity and failure to properly appease the gods, the divine powers destroyed Atlantis. That said, it turns out, the structure is less mythological and more archaeological. Scientists have unearthed a wide range of Acheulean artifacts, particularly in the outer ring, made of quartzite from the area. These included spearheads, pottery shards, and even anchors for ships.